Welcome to EDUCAS. Uh, this is the Education uh, Vertical Trade Show for university colleges K through 12. Let me introduce you to the, the hardware I have here. This is uh, an AP uh, 12, 1222. It has an integrated uh, act, uh, antennas, and this is the new uh, multi gig 6560 switch. It's a mid price switch that comes. Um, that offers what we call multi-gig. Multi-gig, it just gives you the ability to put uh, 2.5, 5 gig, and the future I'm sure is gonna increase to 10 gig over the same uh, wire, one single wire to be able to carry that much um, throughput. And again, traditionally it's just one gig, but now we have the multi-gig. And it does denote it here, I don't know if you can focus here on the part of the switch. This indicates eight ports of multi-gig uh, ethernet. And and that's the, this particular one is 2.5 gig. HPOE tends for high power ethernet, and that gives you up to 75 uh, watts of power to power not only uh, access points, but we're talking about security cameras and other IoT devices that connect to the, to the infrastructure. And that's the key here, the ability to handle IoT devices in a very uh, elegant way to authenticate them into a network. And that's part of my demo here. In this case, um, I actually have OmniVista to provision and create my profiling. Uh, in this case, uh, my LT, I have a security camera, and which I'm going to bring here in the background. Actually, I create two profiles, one profile for the security officers, one profile for the students. And I use the same SSID around campus. What that means is uh, behind the SSID, I provide a different profiling, and that's what UMP is all about. And in this case, my VLANs, security administration and a student. The two key ones is 201 and 202. 201 is your security administration, 202 is your student VLAN. Behind there, UPAM here, this is where I create all my different accounts. And I'm gonna create here an account, I create one for student and one for security. So part of the demo, I'm gonna actually use my, my phone here. I'm going to authenticate into as a security officer to show you an IoT camera in, on campus, how I can authenticate and connect to that. Obviously, if I'm a security officer, I'm gonna put uh, security T and I'm gonna join my network here. I'm gonna trust it and I can go directly into my security camera here and go. And I can see what uh, actually, I can see what the administrator is seeing here, as you can see. Uh, everybody's moving there, so it's a live feed of my security company. But now, not everybody has access to that. Now I'm gonna stay down the camera and I'm gonna go back to my wireless network. I'm gonna forget that network because I wanna re-authenticate as a, a 202 network. Remember my, my network for a student and I wanna go back to um, VLANs. VLAN 202 is my student network, so that's why I authenticated into. So you see that. Now if I go back to my security camera, basically it's gone because I don't have access to that. I'm gonna go into my UPAM, which I, uh, to show you my authentication records. As a student there, see I went to 101, it got canceled. So right now I'm actually, and this, that's me right there. I'm authenticating to using it to one X, but I don't have any access to a security camera. So what I'm gonna do is um, disconnect from here and you'll see what happens when I disconnect. It'll say basically that I stop my connection there. I'm gonna forget network, so I disconnected it. Now if I refresh this, it'll show you that I stopped my connection and I, I was in the 202 network for that. That's the reason I could not access the, that particular demo. So that's how I handle IoT devices in my network. And uh, the intelligence, the provision of both Stellar and OmniSwitch is done through OmniVista, one single pane of glass for the entire management of the network. Uh, the network itself, I mean, we have embedded a lot of different, uh, in this new OmniVista 422, we embedded everything to manage the wireless, to the authentication from uh, guest access, BYOD, to what we call unified access, and this is the key right now to be able to create uh, authentication provisioning for users. Uh, 
we have what we call workflows. And this workflow is going to allow me to create the different profiling for IoT devices, for uh, BYOD devices, for uh, uh, school-owned devices. Everything will be done through the work, uh, workflow. And I'll step you a couple steps here. I say begin, name a workflow, and devices here. And this is the key here. I can select a single device or just simply select them all. All devices in my network that I want to put part of my, and I also want to do the same thing with my wireless. An AP group could be composed of a single AP or 500, up to 512 APs today. Later on, we go to cloud, we're going to be able to scale above that. But right now, and one single AP group that users can roam around will be up to 512. From this, I have to select my devices. Now I can start adding ports to a particular device or I can start uh, also on the wireless LAN. So here's tell me to go through and add ports to it. And in this case, um, I can go through and say, I want port number eight to be part of that and so forth. So I have to go through every switch. Uh, I obviously, I'll sit here for, for a while to do that. But it goes through and lets me set different roles, different authentication services and so forth. So this is what the beauty of uh, OmniVista, the single pane of glass to create everything. And that's what I actually done here in my uh, access role profile. I had different things uh, that I created. Uh, in my VLANs, that's where I physically have all the different uh, VLANs. And my IP interfaces, if I want to ride between them. Uh, let me just select the device here so I can show you the IP interfaces for there. And I, you can see IP interfaces, those are my router interface, management student, internet uh, and the different uh, types of um, IP interface so we can route out of a network. So this is OmniVista, to me, this is the lifeline to configure everything from a single pane of glass for wire and wireless and everything transparently. Uh, the intelligence between Unify Access for containing and controlling IoT devices, this is, uh, it's a must. You have to have OmniVista with an OmniSwitch infrastructure and with a stellar wireless.